guys, welcome back to Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. Mommy here, and today I'm going to be reading to you guys the day the crayons came home. So as you saw in Maya's morning routine, I featured this book, and I, came, and I just wondered if you guys did not have this book, if you wanted me to read it to you. So this book is called The Day the Crayons Came Home, and um, yeah, it's by Drew Day. Daywall, I think, and Oliver Jeffers, and it's from the creators of the number one best-selling The Day the Crayons Quit. So give this video a big thumbs up if you want me to read The Day the Crayons Quit also, because I do have that book. So if you guys have The Day the Crayons Came Home book, go grab it and then you can read along with me. Let's get started. The day the crayons came home. Look at that cute little picture of a suitcase. I like how it looks like in all these books it looks like it's written in a crayon except for in the beginning. So let's see. One day Duncan and his crayons were happily coloring together when a strange stack of postcard ar uh, postcards arrived for him in the mail. So here's the stack of postcards. Doesn't that look like real twine, guys? Dear Duncan, not sure if you remember me. My name is Maroon Cran. You only colored with me once. You drew a scab. <laughs> but whatever. Anyway, you lost me two years ago. In the couch. Then your dad sat on me and broke me in half. Oh no, guys. I never would have survived had Paperclip not nursed me back to health. I'm finally better, so come get me. And can Paperclip come too? He's really holding me together. Sincerely, your Maroon Cran, Maroon Cran. So, um, there's poor little Maroon Cran. Oh no, this is how Maroon Can Cran got squished by Duncan's dad. Yikes. All right. Dear Duncan, no one likes peas. No one even likes the color pea green. So I'm changing my name and running away to see the, the world. Sincerely, Esteban the Magnificent. Um, the crayon formerly known as Pea Green. <laughs> okay, so here's Pea Green, thinking he's a superhero. And here's a drawing of somebody who does not like peas. Do you guys like peas? If you like peas, give this video a big thumbs up. Oh, next page is neon pink. Oh, I guess it's neon red kind of looks like neon pink. Hi Duncan, it's me, Neon Red Cran. Remember that great vacation we had with your family? Remember how we laughed when we drew a picture of your dad's sunburn? Remember dropping me by the hotel pool when you left? Clary, clearly you do not because I'm still here. How could you miss me? How could you miss me? <laughs> what? What does it say? How could you miss me? <laughs> well, actually... Yeah. Would you miss your crayon if you dropped it by the pool? Probably not. Because you could probably get a brand new crayon. <laughs> anyway, after eight months waiting here for you to come get me, I guess I'm walking back. Your left behind friend, Neon Red Crayon. Oh, my dear. Neon Red Crayon was waiting for eight months at the pool. I'm surprised another kid didn't pick him up. Or her up. I don't know. It's a boy or girl. Duncan. It's us, yellow and orange. We know we used to argue over which of us was the color of the sun. But guess what? Neither of us wants to be the color of the sun anymore. Not since we were left outside and the sun melted us together. You know the real color of the sun? Hot. That's what. We're sorry for arguing. You can make green the sun for all we care. Just bring us home. You're not so sunny friends, yellow and orange. Oh, poor at yellow and orange. Would you guys like it if you got melted together with somebody you were arguing with? So here's the picture. Look, they're all melted together. Really sad. And there's the green sun. All right, let's see. Oh, okay. Hey, Duncan. I'm sure you don't recognize me after the horrors. I've been through, I think it was... I've been through. I think I was tan crayon? Or maybe burnt sienna? I don't know. I can't tell anymore. Have you ever been eaten by a dog and puked up in the living room rug? Because I have. 
I've been eaten by a dog and puked up on the rug. And it's not pretty. Not pretty at all. I'm more carpet fuzz than crayon now. Can you please bring me back? Your undigestible friend, tan, or possibly burnt sienna crayon. Oh, dear. There's the dog, and then there's burnt sienna or tan crayon. We don't know what color it is. And then a pile of dog puke. Would you guys like it if you got puked up by a dog? I don't think I would. Ew. Dearest Duncan, um, could you please open the front door? I still need to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban the Magnificent. Okay, um, so it looks like Esteban the Magnificent is not able to get out the front door. Sorry if I'm pronouncing Esteban wrong. Oh, I think it's Esteban or whatever. But look at guys, look at how tiny he is. There's no way he can reach the doorknob. I wonder if Duncan's gonna open the door. We'll find out. Oh, wow, this page is dark. And guys, this page is, I think, actually glow in the dark. I'm not sure, though. At the end, at the end of the video, we'll see, because it will have enough light on it, hopefully. Hey, Duncan, remember last Halloween we told your little brother there was a ghost under the basement stairs? Then we drew that scary stuff on the wall? Sure was funny when he ran screaming, right? But it wasn't so funny when you forgot to take me out of the basement. Please come get me. I'm kind of terribly terrified. Your scared friend, Glow in the Dark Cran. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. I just had to sneeze, I guess. This basement's making me sneeze. I think they need to clean their basement. Here, Duncan. Looks like I'm almost home. Been through China, Canada, and France. I think. Just crossing New Jersey by camel now. New Jersey has giant pyramids, right? See you soon, Neon Red Crayon. P.S. Next stop, the North Pole, I think. Um, guys, do you think Neon Red Crayon's in New Jersey or Egypt? I think neon red crayons in Egypt. Don't you think that looks a lot like Egypt? What do I know? This might be New Jersey. Okay. Duncan. Does page eight of Pirate Island ring a bell? Kind of big payday for Captain Greenbeard there, don't you think? And no bronze or silver in that pile, huh? I told you I'd make... It would make me blunt if you colored each coin individually. But would you listen? No. I also told you those stupid crayon sharpeners never work. Did you listen to that? Also no. Now can I color anything at all? Your pointless friend, Gold Crayon. I had to write this for him, says the pencil. And then the sharpener is saying, this is not fun for me either, you know. Okay. A hall of blue. Oh my goodness, look at He colored each coin individually there. Oh, here's Esteban the Great again. Dear Duncan, I've seen the world. It's rainy. I'm coming back. Esteban the Magnificent. Oh. Well, it looks like Esteban the Magnificent came outside at the wrong time because it's raining. Hi, Duncan. You're probably wondering why it, there's a sock stuck to my head? A question I ask myself every day. Well, it's because last week you left me in your pocket and I ended up in the dryer. I landed on your sock and now he's stuck to my head. Can you please come get me? Also, why does everything you wear still smell even after it's washed? Your stinky, socky, stunky, on-hand buddy, on-head buddy, turquoise crayon. P.S. Socks says hi. Tell him I said hi. <laughs> Oh, poor to poor toy face can't cram. Dear Mr. Duncan, I know I'm not your cran. I know I belong to your baby brother, but I can't take him anymore. In the last week alone, he's bitten the top of my head, put me in the cat's nose. Oh, dear. Drawn on the wall and tried to color garbage with me. Um, the worst part is he's a terrible artist. I can't tell what his drawings are. Donkey, monkey, donkey, monkey? Picasso said every child is an artist, but I don't know. I don't think he met your brother. Please rescue me. Your desperate friend, Big Chunky Toddler Cram. Oh, 
What some amazing artwork here. Okay. Turn the page. Okay. All right. Duncan. Greetings from the Amazon rainforest. Making great time. I think I'm almost home. Neon red crayon. Um, I'm not quite sure that's the Amazon rainforest neon red crayon. But what do I know? Hello, Duncan. It's me, Gr Brown Crayon. You know exactly why I ran away, buddy. Every... Everyone thinks I get all the great coloring jobs. Candy bars, puppies, ponies. Lucky me, right? Bet they don't know what else you use to color, do they? I didn't think so. The rest of the drawing was great, but I did... I did... But did I really need that final brown scribble? I'll come back, but please let's stick to candy bars, okay? Your very embarrassed friend, Brown Cran. Oh, what a nice picture. Bear goes in the woods. Okay, I think, I think we've seen enough now, Brown Crayon. Duncan was sad to learn all the crayons he'd lost, forgotten, broken, or negligated over the years, so he ran around gathering them up. But Duncan's crayons were also damaged and differently shaped they used to, than they used to be that no longer fit in the crayon box, so Duncan had an idea. He built a place where each crayon would always feel at home. Wow, guys. Take a look at all this. Looks like a great crayon house. Don't you think so? If so, give this video a big thumbs up. And just like I promised before, we're, I, this, this book actually does glow in the dark. I think it says on the front cover. Yeah, glow in the dark drawing but I don't know if it's had enough light, so let's take a look and see. It might not be dark enough in here. Yeah, it's not dark enough in here. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please click like and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can get notified whenever we upload new videos. Bye! Okay, Winston?